Hi, I'm Paul Coldery. And I'm Ed Ackerson. We're producer engineers who make records with computers and using all of today's modern techniques. But we like to incorporate some of the techniques that were pioneered by the people who sort of invented rock recording in the 60s and 70s. A lot of the techniques that you hear in classic rock records are actually completely usable and attainable to somebody who's a home recordist. A lot of them are really simple and we'll show you how to do it. Welcome to episode three of Getting Sounds. I'm Paul Coldery. And I'm Ed Ackerson. And we're back at Flower Studios. Today we're going to talk about getting a bass sound, which can be a little tricky. I like to use a single microphone, in this case it's an Electro Voice RE20, which has a nice low end sound, and that can capture the, the power of the speaker, the low end power of the speaker, but bass cabs, bass sounds can be a little rattly, can be a lot of noise in the room, so in order to keep the bass sound focused, we like to use a DI as well. And a DI is like essential for capturing that clarity, but however, there will always be an issue with time alignment between the DI and the microphone, because while the DI goes directly to the preamp from the guitar, uh, the amp signal has to go through the electronics of the amp through open air to the microphone and then onto the preamp and so it's always going to be a little bit later and so you need to time align the two signals to make the signal have its full clarity and full low end strength we'll show you how to do that in Pro Tools in the control room in just a minute alright so now we're in the control room and we're looking at the sound we just recorded here's the DI on top here's the mic and you can see the DI is earlier the mic is later and you just need to line them up. Now you can go either way. You can take the, the mic back or you can take the DI forward. I think it's better to take the DI forward and just make the bass a little bit on the funkier side. So you line them up, there you go, next. 